Joining me today, I have Laura Kathleen Turner and I have Mark A. Moyer. Both of them are co-artistic directors with the Looking Glass Theater. They're also producers and actors in a brand new play, Dietrich and Maria. I know I'm not saying those with the proper accents right now, but Laura and Mark, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Please tell the audience about this brand new play, Dietrich and Maria. Yeah, so this is um, the true love story of a man named Dietrich Bonhoeffer and his fiancée, Maria von Wittemeyer. Dietrich was um, involved in the German Secret Service during World War II, and then he was arrested on charges of conspiracy against the life of Adolf Hitler. Um, and the play takes place during one of Maria's secret visits to him in prison because uh, they had just gotten engaged right before he was arrested. Um, and in real life, this this did happen. She did visit him secretly and they did write letters back and forth to each other while he was in prison. And so uh, a lot of the dialogue is based on their real life prison letters to each other. Wow, what a play to perform. Both of you are in this. It is very special because it's just the two of you, I believe. Uh, right. Tell me what that dynamic was like to get ready for this. It's very intimate, it sounds like. Yeah, doing a two-hander is always a real challenge. I mean, when when you've got a, a stage full of actors and big sets and, and pieces like that, I mean, you're creating another world. But when it's just the two-hander or even a one-man show, you're you're creating sort of a genuinely human moment and uh, I, I love what look at Laura had said in an interview the other day she said it's kind of like looking in somebody's window and wondering what the conversation they're having is is about and then you get invited in and uh, so it is it is a very intimate piece it's intimate just being two actors especially you know with a uh, not just a love story but a story where there is just so much emotional turmoil and depth as as was caused by the circumstances of their relationship and and it's also intimate for the audience because they're being invited into that relationship into that story and uh it, it is really really special it's been really special in the room rehearsing it uh it's been lovely just the three of us scott uh, moyer who wrote the play directed it and he's been a fantastic director and uh, it's just been an absolute absolute delight amazing it's also I exhausting <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. I was going to say, like, you're not only telling a story, but you are. This is something that happened. A lot of this is actual reality. You want to be able to do this, these people justice, right? Is there part of that as well, where you're like, oh, we got to live up to this and what they went through? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely you feel the the weight of it. A lot more when knowing that it is a, a, a real story um, based on real circumstances. Um, there is a lot of, but in a way that almost helps by by making it, you know, more real. It really is like these are true, deep human feelings that that real humans have actually felt, and so it, it almost makes it a bit more clear, you know, what what are the you know the motivations what are the thoughts going on in their heads and and in order to answer those questions we just have to ask ourselves well okay what would i be thinking if i were in a situation like this um because you know it's different from something like fantasy or or sci-fi or or even comedy in some cases where um the circumstances are of those are so um just they wouldn't actually happen in real life you know and so it's kind of you you get to play with with different things in those genres you get to play with you know wonder and awe and and um mystery and and things like that and and with something like this you get to just really play with reality um and it's it's a challenge for sure but it's also it's really special <laughs> Real, reality tends to be wilder than fiction in a lot of cases. And when you look at that, the, the story of Dietrich Bonhoeffer and what he did, I mean, that, that certainly rings true. Yes, absolutely. If people are interested in finding out how they can partake in this incredible play, 
uh, let us know that. When is yes. this happening? Uh, so we open uh, this coming Wednesday on February 21st. Um, we'll be playing in Steinbeck at the Steinbeck uh, Mennonite Heritage Village. Uh, and we run uh, this, so this Wednesday, the 21st, uh, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, uh, all at 7 p.m. It's rush seating, so we're um, telling people show up by like 6.30 just to make sure you get a good seat. Uh, and uh, advanced tickets can be purchased on our website, lookingglasstheater.ca. Uh, and you can also get tickets at the door. But you kind of play roulette if you do that. Yeah, they're they're selling <laughs> quick. We're very pleased. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Well, I think it sounds gripping. Absolutely. Um, what drew you to say, yes, let's take, I'm assuming, months to pour our hearts into this and show this to people? Like, I know you guys have done comedy. I'm not quite sure exactly what else, but like, yeah, why? Okay, let's do this. You know, this play... One one of the things that drew me to it was it was very different from anything I had done before, or at least in a, in a long time. Uh, the other thing that really drew me to it was just the quality of the writing. Um, a, a play is really only ever as good as the writing and and the actors you get to to bring that to life. Uh, and Scott has written just a magnificent play. It's a beautiful, gut wrenchingly beautiful play, and um, I know the first time, like when would one of the first things you do as an actor is you you sit down and you do a table read of the of the play, and I you know I'm I'm secure enough in my masculinity to say I wept at at that first read through, and I know Laura uh, cried a fair bit too, and we continue to because it is it is a it is a beautiful play, it's a heartbreaking play, uh, and yet there's also such hope in it, and I think hope is such an important thing. Uh, any time, but especially, you know, these days people need hope. And it's such a nice story of, you know, what what do things like truth and genuine, true Christian love look like in the darkest of circumstances? And um, and plus the opportunity to to work with Laura is always a must. And the fact that it got to be just the two of us on stage, um, I will say, uh, Laura is absolutely mesmerizing in this play. Oh, she gives thank you. such a raw and powerful performance. And I, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years and I'm working hard to keep up. So right. it's 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 worth it's worth coming to see it for her in the last 10 minutes alone. But uh, uh, that that's what drew me to it. So uh, Laura, go ahead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's so sweet. Yeah. Um, I mean, this the play. It's just beautiful. Um, I I read it first before Mark did because I'm uh, married to the playwright, so I get special privileges there. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, I got to the end of the play <laughs> and uh, we hadn't fully decided to do it um, as our next show yet. We were, of course, just waiting to see how it came out. Um, and I was just crying and I, I took a selfie of all these tears streaming down my face. I sent it to Mark, I was like, I just finished reading the show and he was like, okay, well, based on this reaction, I think we're probably going to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, uh, we made the right decision. And you know, what's interesting too, is that we have been previewing this show around Steinbeck for the past few months. We've just been um, reading the script for people and inviting people, you know, into an evening to just hear the script with us because um, it, it's a brand new work um, and it's not known, you know, to people. We're giving them a chance to kind of preview it and check it out first. Um, and we did this and it was just, it was such a special evening. Everyone really was on the edge of their seats. They were leaning in, they were wanting to catch every line. Um, and lots of them said afterwards, you know, I was just completely captivated. Um, by this story and and by the dialogue and it that was that was really special because you know you don't always get that without because we were just sitting in chairs just reading the script you know and we were you know acting it but not there's no props there's no costumes there's no sets um, and so to get that kind of a reaction was really special and really validating for us you know it's not just us in our own little bubble thinking oh we have this great thing everyone's gonna love it but really um it is resonating with people uh already so you know audiences who come really can be assured that this is going to be quite quite a special magical evening for them 
It does sound like that. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to share more about this play. And we're going to let everyone know about it. Thank you for showing up and looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Sylvia. With you. Thank you so much, Sylvia.